Hey there, how we doing? I'm Eric O'Brien and this is my sports demo reel. But before we got started, I wanted you to see what it would look like if I was sitting at a desk doing the sports game. The Blackhawks Stanley Cup celebration was over less than two minutes into the 2016 season. That's when the Rangers Oscar Lindbergh scored the first goal. But players insist this isn't a case of a championship hangover. I actually didn't think we had that bad of a, bad of a start. Tough test in his first game at Soldier Field. Bears, Cheeseheads. Mike McCarthy was quoted as saying they'd kick the Bears you know what. But Matt Forte had other ideas. This one yard touchdown run plus another buck 40 on the ground today. And less Aaron Rodgers is always a good thing for a defense. Bears up 13 and 10 at half, second half. And here comes A-Rod finding a familiar face to finish the pack's first drive. Oakland didn't work out, couldn't cut it in the Big Apple, but James Jones is feeling right at home back with Green Bay. His second touchdown catch of the day. Bears would respond with another field goal to pull back within one, but field goals don't typically cut it against this high-powered offense. Rodgers delivers a great ball to Randall Cobb, who's playing on a bum shoulder. Green Bay back up eight. A good drive, Bears threatening. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, and you can't teach Jay Cutler to not throw it to the other team. Instead of doing the normal warm-ups today, they elected to go with wet ball drills. They'd throw First balls onto the, the ground and line. have guys try to pick them up, slide, get used First to the conditions down. on this very slick turf. We'll see how it plays out tonight. A lot of schools in the Midwest and stadiums have gone to this artificial turf here. Some football players claim it was more than just a game that they lost that Saturday. This team is doing more than just striking out batters. No moral victories on this floor tonight. The Byron girls basketball team came out with a suffocating defense and never let up, cruising to a 30-point victory. However, head coach Eric Yearly knows if they're going to hoist that state championship trophy tomorrow, there's no time to celebrate. We were really impressed up in the booth with, with Horton and saying maybe he could be your point guard that you're looking for. Anyone else? A disappointing year, but he's not losing hope. Matt Wilson will come to you, and uh, that should be a good thing. Hopefully, more test subjects that way. Well, I'm very proud of him. Sending him a card in the mail saying, hey, I'm thinking of you. I just think it's good for him to think of somebody besides himself. We all love the game. That's why we're here. For players like Lucas Domberg, the first practice has a special kind of energy. Baseball season is right around the corner. We're still teenage guys. We compete with each other. We, we get into the game. This team is doing more than just striking out batters. The shortstop walks up and asks, what, what is K-Cancer Baseball? Because you've got it on the jersey, you've got it, your team is K-Cancer Baseball and they don't know what that is and you get to tell them that we basically help people in the community that are battling childhood cancer feel like they're not alone and then you steal third, like that's, that's incredible. Otherwise, their parents wasted their money, right? K-Cancer is more than the name this 15 and under travel baseball team wears on the front of its jersey. On the field, they are kids. Off it, they're pros. It feels like I'm part of something bigger than what other teams are. This group of Rockford teenagers decided to play for something bigger than themselves 18 months ago. Last season, by selling their team equipment and message, K-Cancer Baseball raised and donated $35,000 to help families pay for chemotherapy treatments and travel. There may be a little four-year-old girl who has no hair because she's being treated with radiation and chemotherapy, and they walk in and they get down on their hands and knees and they start playing with these children to try to make them just forget about their problems for a little bit and just enjoy themselves and let them know somebody's in their corner. President and head coach Randall Rapier says the team has already matched that donation nation this year and the season hasn't even started. So we have kids that are good at finance that have gotten involved in the finance part. We have kids that are good at public speaking. They've been out there doing that part and everybody's contributed. What, what is this about? How can we get involved? And just hearing teams reaching out to us after we've left tournaments, still asking questions, buying our t-shirts. It's Hall of Fame worthy attention. I wish I'd have thought of when I was a teenager, you know, when my mother got sick. But, you know, I, I just think that these young men are pretty focused. But don't think this group is any pushover on the baseball diamond. Everyone likes to win, you know, we always like to win. <laughs> and now these boys are showing a new group the ropes. In Rockford, Eric O'Brien, 23 News. The Gustafson's Football Frenzy starts right now. Welcome to the Football Frenzy, brought to you by Gustafson's Furniture and Mattress. I'm Eric O'Brien, Lutheran running back 
James Robinson is averaging more yards per carry than his jersey number this year. First play from scrimmage and number 25 goes 54 yards to the house, leaving a mark on his way. The Cubs have reached the stretch of their season and no, I'm not talking about singing in Harry Carey's box. Breaking news, the Bears have announced they cut linebacker Sam Acho. Jake Arietta has been nothing short of incredible this month. Chase Utley between Arietta and history, and Jake gets chase to chase, striking out the side to seal the deal. He had nine. Count them, nine birdies as part of a seven under round. Last chance for the Bears from 50 yards out, and Robbie Gold is... Fool's gold. They go up 58 to 55, but Cameron Kohlberg has clutch running through his veins. Novak Djokovic defeating Roger Federer in four sets. It was the Joker's 10th Grand Slam title. Hard to come down, pick it up third quarter after a scoreless first half. Jeremiah Johnson rolling out, trying to create something, and it's some early trick or treating. Joe Madden's team hoping to just have a chance to take the series tomorrow. Lester's planning on delivering the split tonight. So now that you've gotten a little taste of what I can do in sports, I want to show you what I really do, what I really can offer, because I'm not going to hide it. I'm a general assignment reporter, and I've been doing it for a year. Why? I just haven't been given an opportunity to do sports yet. However, before I was this reporter, I played a couple of years of professional baseball. So sports is my bread and butter, and I'm hoping you'll give me that chance. Now, check out these live shots, most of which were shot by myself. What are you seeing, Eric? Whitney, I must have drawn the short stick putting an Arizona boy like me out in this weather. It has been just as miserable, just about as it can get for state line drivers today. A little bit more information on this. Two suspects are now in custody, I'm being told, and I have to correct myself. I said Rockford Police. They actually set up the perimeter. Is this going to be allowed in the theaters? Where this geodesic sensor net. And the way they stay cool in this thing. It's actually, I'm going to have to get out of the way right now for an ambulance. The show must go on, and now a month later, it finally is right here on center stage honestly 20 minutes ago there was a building right behind me successful this movie will be life's a beach or at least it could be right there over 150 students are going to be getting some hands-on training reporting live at Auburn High School Eric O'Brien whoo that's cold 23 news back to you Mike if you think that was good I promise you there's so much more to be had and just like the baseball diamond, I'm going to bring energy, personality, and relentless work ethic to the newsroom. And before we go, I just want to say a couple of thoughts. My philosophy on the dying breed that is local sports. I believe personality is the most important thing we can have. I believe the viewer connects with this one-on-one, -on -one, the character. Sure, we're going to get the facts, we're going to get the highlights out there, but we're going to do it in the most entertaining way possible. I'm going to do it in the most entertaining way possible. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I know it was a little unorthodox, so I appreciate you sticking with it. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, I'm not under contract, and my agent and I would be happy to speak with you.